I work on the, the poorest, most marginalised countries in the world and try and think how they could be a bit less poor, a bit less marginalised. The fascination of research is that uh, you keep coming up with things that you realise, my goodness, I didn't know that, and nor did anybody else, and it matters. Uh, and that happens again and again and again. I have three modes of communication, as it were. I've got a professional mode where I write academic articles like everybody else, and then a mode which I've only developed in the last few years, which is writing books which anybody can read. And they distill my research, so they're research books, but they're written in a style that anybody can read. And then the, the final thing I do is, is a lot of newspaper articles and public speaking. So it's, uh, it's those three tracks, really. What I'm working on at the moment um, is uh, I'm between two things. I mean, I've got a paperback coming out of, uh, of Wars, Guns and Votes, which better understood by its subtitle, Democracy in Dangerous Places. So that was about the, the struggle for power uh, in these small and poor countries. Yeah, I've got a, a book coming out called The Plunder Planet, um, How to Reconcile Prosperity with Nature, which is about the management and the mismanagement of natural assets and natural liabilities, especially in the poorest countries, but not exclusively. I think I'm a little unusual in having combined the usual academic activities of research with uh, outreach and communications. Um, and I've discovered that's really rewarding, but not many academics do it. And so I'd encourage others to have a go. Try and write clearly for ordinary people.